Hey everybody, here we are. Here's the old EQ5 mount, which I've been steadily working through refurbishing. So far, I've been able to do the declination and the right ascension, and I stripped all of it down. I removed all of the old grease, I've put nice fresh new grease in. The um, right ascension motor and the declination motor need to be fitted, but the next job, which I found when I first tested the mount, I noticed that this latitude bolt here this is unfortunately threaded and you can see quite clearly that it doesn't go in. Now this, this basically won't, won't tighten up which means you can't set the angle of this here. Um, now it's really common for these to bend inside there. The design is that there's just a little metal pin and then this screw here adjusts the height by pushing it round and this one locks it. And in these early um, mounts, the actual thread here is M8 and quickly realized, I think by Skywatcher, that this was not um, thick enough and it, because so many of them bent. So they then replaced it with an M10, one of these. So the newer mounts, have an M10 and that's an M10 one so I'm just going to remove this and you can see that this one I've actually managed to bend back once already and I ran a tap over that to debris the thread but you can see the difference quite clearly there between the two so the M8 and the M10 so what I intend to do because this is threaded here um, I'm going to replace it not with this M10 but with this M10, which is a much better design and it's much easier to adjust. You can press that in there and just do very fine adjustments. So I'm going to replace it with one of these. Um, this side I've already done. So this side is actually fine. This is an M8 side. So the new mounts have an M8 there and an M10 there. And you can see quite clearly what the problem is if you look in this one. So this is the one which had been, because all of, all of my mounts are second hand, so I basically um, find that lots of bits and pieces have been broken. You can see there quite clearly that has been bent in. So at some point I'm going to have to either bend it up again and then somehow cut it out or I'll cut it there with some kind of saw, I guess, and then be able to unscrew it. So that, that part is salvageable, but the screw, of course, is jammed in there and you can't actually screw it at all. It's literally just, just locked in. So the first thing I need to do is unscrew the base here. So that's what I'm going to do. So what I need to do is drill out this part of the mount here with an 8.5 millimeter drill bit, which will enable me to tap the new thread into there, which is for the M10. There we go, there's the base, and that's the M8 one, which is in there, so I'm just going to unscrew that. So now all I have to do is drill that out with an 8.5 millimeter drill, and then tap it with the correct tap. So let's go and do that now. So we're going to just do a quick bit of drilling. this is where we use a special sock vise. Well, basically I'm using a sock to protect it. An old pair of socks will be absolutely fine. And now we need an 8.5 millimeter drill. There we go. So we've drilled through. So we've now got a nice clean hole there. And what we now need to do is tap an M10 thread. And that's it, we're now through. So that now has a lovely M10 thread going all the way through. Fantastic. There we go. 
So we've got a lovely M10 thread going all the way through now. Thank you for our special sock. Okay, we're back. So here's our mount with our new M10 thread. So what we're just going to do to get some grease, I'm just going to pop a bit of grease on and then we're going to test to see if it works. Here it goes. Perfect. Here we go. So we've now got our new M10 adjustment fitted in there. So it's now M10 and M8 on that side, which I'm really pleased with. That's good. So I'm going to reassemble the mount, making sure that all none of this fouls and um, and then we'll be ready to put the right ascension motors on and the declination motors. And then all we need to do is give it a test. And what you want to make sure with the mount is that there is no play here. And you can see at the moment there is play. Now on these mounts, only this side is threaded, so you have to screw in the bolt from this side to make sure there isn't any play. But because this metal is so soft, you have to be really careful. So I'm just going to gently nip it up. There's still play. Great. Um, now these, uh, the, the original ones of these were bent as well on this mount. So I have found these on eBay, worked out the thread. I can't remember what the thread is off the top of my head, but I will try and find out. Again, it's a little bit of grease on each of these just to stop the threads from wearing. And the good thing is, although these are slightly longer than the normal ones, it means you have slightly more adjustment because quite often you run out of adjustment. But I'm going to find out the thread because I can see from my order, I've just remembered. So let's have a quick look. So they were M6. So now all I have to do is put in our new M10 adjustment. And I may have to remove the polar alignment scope here as I'm doing this, but that's okay. We can put it in as a starter. We can screw it in and you can see now it's adjusting quite nicely. That's great. Now the one thing with these is to make sure you don't over tighten them. So you literally just, there it is, it's locked. That does not move. So under no circumstances should this be tightened anymore and that be tightened anymore. And the next stage is to put the right ascension and declination motors back on this mount. Okay, so what we have now are two motors. This one is the right ascension motor, which is this axis here. So this one fits on there. And we have a declination motor which fits on this axis here. And we have two screws. We have a super long screw and a diddy screw. The diddy screw is for this axis and the longer screw is for the declination axis here. And they should hopefully just go straight through and then we'll be able to screw them in all being well. So let's fit, I think we'll do the right ascension first. And of course, as is so often the case, I now need to remove all the work I did before. <laughs> now with these, there's just one threaded bracket here where it screws in. And again, you don't need to go massively overboard with tightening this. So you just slot this on.
So I think I'm not going to tighten the scrub screws up until I've engaged the motor to make sure it's got the correct positioning so it actually clamps nicely onto the flat part. But that is pretty much fitted. So now let's do the declination motor. So again, I don't want to do them too tightly. Back that off because I don't want the threads to get damaged. They just have, they're only there to support the motors and the motors are not doing a huge force of work. Okay, there we go. So I've now got my mount with right ascension declination motors installed and I've got my new M10 bolt here, my new M8 bolt there, my new M6 adjustments here. Um, I think we're ready now to pop it back on the mount and give it a test.